Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna take you on a walk through our forests on a misty morning. I love misty mornings and I wish to show you the beauty of the scenery for ages and this year happened to be the perfect time for that. Late winter and early spring blurred in mist this year. There have been some dark winter days where the mist was just everywhere, but we begin with the walk through the city forests, which showed off its beauty in the gorgeous light of sun rays. Some days earlier we had found a new path through this part of the forest, and on an old field of cut down trees the mist had woven itself through last year's fern, young trees and got caught in beautiful spiderwebs. I deeply enjoyed the silence at this place. In the Eiffel, the mountain range close to our home, the forests lie higher and the mist often reaches from the ground to the treetops all day long. I understand that some people don't feel well on a foggy grey day, but for me it creates a whole different world, and the mist that doesn't let me look far makes me focus on the here and now, on the things that are close to me. I love how the trees and their branches create a moody scene of contrasts. Unfortunately, I forgot which time of the year it was. The Eiffel has a big national park which nowadays stays quite untouched by the forestry, but on the edges they begin their work in the last months of winter. This is a little birch forest I found back in October. And be warned, it hit me hard when I walked past there now. I guess you know how I felt stumbling through this. I just couldn't believe that this lovely forest looked so sad right now. But, and I really need to say this, there are a couple of good things to tell. Often enough, I find fallen or cut down trees that are left in the forest, which is so much worth these days. Amongst other benefits, they keep the moisture in their rotting wood, which is important for our dry summers here. Another thing I noticed was that they didn't cut all trees down. At the moment there are more clear cuts in Germany than ever before and it seems as if it's the step in the right direction that this little birch forest had only lost some of its trees and not all of them. I know this might sound weird, but regarding the terrible view of a fresh clear cut of spruce plantages, this birch forest was lucky, so to speak. It is such a complex situation. We need our forests and the trees are connected closely to their neighbor trees. But on the other hand, I see that we all use products that come from the forest industry. It isn't easy to explain, but I will come back to this topic in the future, as I see a lot of change these days. Now let's get some sun rays into these minutes again. 
Walking through all the forests, there are a lot of traces of wildlife to be found. Have you ever had a closer look at an old tree's bark? In the deep ridges and furrows, you might have seen small knots and seeds with little holes in them. That have been birds taking advantage of the tree bark to wedge in the nuts and even pine cones. In German, it's called a woodpecker's forge, even though the nuthatch and maybe some other birds do it as well. I find them everywhere and it makes me happy all the time to see so many of them. In one of our last episodes, we told you about the planetary parade that was going to take place at the end of March. Now I want to show you how I experienced it. Me and two friends of mine drove to the moor, which is sure one of the most beautiful places to watch the stars. It's been a crazy weather back at that day. You can see the snow lying on the boardwalk. And this is not a rainy cloud you see there, but it's snow falling down, changing every 20 minutes or so to bright sunshine. <laughs> That's how it had been all day long, but in the evening we were super lucky as it stopped snowing for exactly the hours we stayed in the moor. This is so special about the moor. The sky seems endless and the clouds differ in each direction you look. This makes it beautiful in every kind of weather, from fog to rain to sunshine. And most of all, the transition from day to nighttime is extraordinarily beautiful. We sat down by the lake to watch the sun go down and moon and stars appear on the night sky. Unfortunately, the clouds made it impossible to see the whole planetary alignment, but Mars and Venus shone bright together with the moon and thousands of other stars. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing, as well as giving a thumbs up under the video. We really appreciate your support. Thank you for being here.